So let's first introduce ranking. What is university ranking? Basically, it's an institute or an organization that has a certain metric or a certain criteria to rank universities based on different things, like based on their uh, number of research publications, high reputation, uh, jobs that their graduates get, and, and many other things. Rankings change between each other in such metric, and every ranking publish what is the metric that they used to uh, come up with the university ranking that they declare every year. There are many ranking websites or organizations, but today we are going to focus on only four, the most famous four among them, which is US News Ranking. And this is particularly useful for US universities, but also it's, it has a world uh, wide ranking. We also have the Shanghai or the ARWU, or the academic ranking of four lead universities. Third, we have QS ranking. And, and fourth, we have the Times Higher Education ranking. These rankings, as I said, change between each other. Uh, they have different lists based on different things. Uh, this is not important for us now, but actually ranking websites can be particularly useful in many of the decisions that you need to take to decide uh, which university and which supervisor and, and which country to travel to, as we will see now. For example, we can use the Times a Higher Education Ranking to know how much the university or the country in general is welcoming for international students. How this is possible through ranking? Because the Times Higher Education Ranking, as you see here in the website, shows you for each uh, university that is included in the ranking, what is the percentage of international students. This is particularly very useful for your decision on in which country, because that means this country is welcoming for international students. Most probably they have established funds to get or attract these students. And also they are diverse enough that you will have a good social life with many expertise and interaction with people from all over the world. So if you don't have any country in mind, you can use the ranking to give you an idea of which countries have the large numbers of universities with highly ranking. Uh, for example, if you look into the Times Higher Education, you will find that among the first hundred universities, you get many US uh, universities, you get Canadian universities, you get European, especially British universities, you also get Singapore universities. So this gives you an idea of that these countries have multiple higher ranked universities and maybe the, you start looking into universities within these countries. On the other hand, if you have a country or some countries in mind, you can also use the ranking to uh, filter the ranking to select uh, universities within only this region or within only this country. For example, as you see here, you can use the Times Higher Education to select Canada and then it gives you the ranking only for Canadian universities. Again, the ranking is not an absolute value or absolute truth, but it gives you an idea of what are the big universities in such country. A third thing that is also very useful in the ranking is you can select the area of expertise that you are looking for. Because for example, maybe a university is highly ranked, but because they have, for example, a medical school or because they are very well known in one area and they, they get a lot of publications and good reputation in such area. But in the particular area that you're looking for, they are not that good. So another thing you can do is you filter based on the area of expertise you are looking for, for example, biology, chemistry, computer engineering, and then you see the ranking within this specific area. 